Today, I'm gonna to be a little revealing. Welcome to my newly remodeled bathroom. There was a lot of thought that was put into this bathroom to make it work for me. And if you watch to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you something and how you can get $500 off and maybe somebody can get it for free. So um, let me tell you about these challenges that we were faced with. The sink, the toilet, the shower, everything was built for someone with arms and hands. And so for me, I use my feet like my hands and I need to be able to use my feet to be functional and be independent in the bathroom. So we had a lot of different obstacles we were faced with. I think I'm gonna start with the shower. This is the shower. This actually used to be the shower and the toilet. Now it's one massive shower. I remember how cramped it was before. I could barely get around the toilet to get into the shower. And then when I brought my shower stool into the shower, that's all that could fit in there. So it was very cramped. And now there's this lovely bench that I could practically sleep on. Um, it's great because I have to be in a seated position to be able to use my feet to clean myself, wash my hair, wash my body. And, um, and be able to do everything independently. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you around here. There's a cubby space underneath the bench and that is where I keep all my stuff at foot level, which is the bonus, is that I can just grab a hold of my shampoo bottle between my toes and pull it out of that little cubby space under the bench and use that uh, to put shampoo in my hair. So um, there's some things here that you see. You see that there is uh, this little extra spigot now this spigot wouldn't be in a normal shower for sure. It's about two feet off the floor and this is almost an independent foot wash device. So I can come in here if I just wanna wash my feet and not have to deal with using the sinks or the countertops. I could just come on in here, sit on the bench and uh, lower this down so I could wash my feet and wash other body parts if necessary. Um, this has a separate, obviously, temperature control and knob right here. All of it's lower so it's easier for me to reach. On the opposite side is another uh, knob temperature control and it turns on the shower head. And so that is really low, so it makes it easy for me to be able to just pop my foot up there, turn it on, adjust the temperature, and do that all independently. I use a loofah on a stick to be able to soap my body and reach areas that are hard to get to with just my feet. But of course, there are some areas that are hard to get to even for people with hands and arms, like our back. And that's why this hands-free body scrubber is perfect for that. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna find out more and how you can get it. It can actually also lower, but this is great because I can just scratch my, scrub my back like this. The old towel rod that I had in the old bathroom, it was so annoying. It kept coming off the wall whenever I'd pulled the towel off with my teeth. So we have this hook, which is a lot easier to use, but I have something, something even better than that. Tornado body dryer. It is so cool. I have to thank No White Flags for making this possible. Maybe you've been to a tanning salon where you've seen something similar, but to have one here in my own home, it's so impressive. I've had this lifelong challenge of how to adequately dry myself because I use a towel and, and I can move around and everything, but it's always been a challenge. So many people born without arms have asked me, how do you dry yourself? Well, here's the answer now, and I'm just so grateful for it. It has two settings. I use my foot to step on the little button. The first setting is a slower, a slower heating, and then I can press on it again, and it makes it at max uh, heating capacity. It only takes 60 seconds longer than if you were to towel dry. I would have to say the number one question is people ask, how do you get your pants on? And this is exactly how I do it. I use this dressing hook, and now I have two mounted into the wall. I used to use a mobile device that I would carry around with me, and I'd stick it on a dresser or on a, a metal door or something that had glass. But now I have something permanently mounted in the wall, which is so awesome. I can just stick my clothes on top of the hook, step into my pants, and wiggle my way in. And if I need to get undressed, obviously that hook facing down does the trick. And the number one question everybody thinks and nobody asks, how do I wipe? Well, I'm sitting here on the toilet. Obviously you got the toilet paper here, but there's a remote that I use to control uh, the bidet that is in the toilet seat, which is amazing to have. Not everywhere I go has a bidet, so obviously I have to do it the other way as well. But this is set up for me at home to be comfortable and it has really great settings on this bidet. I know Costco has a couple, but you can look in the link and I'll show you um, some ideas of where you can find a bidet so you can be independent on the toilet. 
So there were several challenges with the sink. For one, uh, the previous sink had a lip on it. So whenever I washed my face or brushed my teeth, I splashed water everywhere. The cabinets would swell because the wood would get wet and it was just bad. And anyway, having the undermount sink, which you see now, makes it easier for me to keep the water in the sink. Uh, the other challenge was figuring out what height would work best. Obviously I'm sitting here on this bench and I'm sorry, the bench, the stool, and the stool has to align with the height of the sink. If the sink is too high, I'm not able to get my feet in. If the sink is too low, it would be hard to reach my face like this. So having it about this height would work the best and we figured that out. But my husband is a lot taller than me. He's six foot three. So we gave him the countertop height. Uh, as you can see, it's elevated up for him so he doesn't have to hurt his back leaning over. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you want to find out more about the Tornado Body Dryer and how you can get $500 off, in the description below you can find out about the No White Flags project. And also there are other tools that I showed you. It will be in the description. Hope it helps and take care.